This is all part of the air sealing for the exterior. So this is our, our foundation, and then we've got the uh, foam gasket. And then on the inside, we actually use spray foam and some caulk to um, help seal up any spots that the foam gasket wasn't getting. And then um, when they put the subfloor down onto the sill plate, they glued that joint. When they stood the walls up, this is the bottom plate of the wall, they, you can see glue there, they've actually glued that wall down. Um, so that should seal everything up here. And as I pointed out, these hold downs, which penetrate the floor and the plates, sometimes leak and we'll seal those up um, from the inside with spray foam as part of our interior sealing process. And then when they finish the sheeting, the bottom, this is the piece they put on before they stood the wall up, then they come back and tie it in down below the sill plate. These pieces are uh, leftover window scraps. Um, and so when they put that on, they're gonna run a bead of glue along the bottom, up the edge and across the top. And so when they fasten that on, form a air tight barrier. Okay, so um, this is the same material we use for our top plate. And once we get the interior wall in, then we wrap the window openings with uh, three quarter inch plywood also. And when they apply these around the perimeter of the window, they also glue it, thereby creating an air seal all the way um, outside, all the way to the inside of the wall. Um, and then we'll come back and at the joints between the plywood, the top and the sides, um, we'll run a bead of cotton. And then the windows, all around the windows, we use the spray foam um, and fill the cavities there. If it's too small to use the foam, then we can run a bead of caulk along the bottom edge. Is any penetration that wires go to the exterior, either goes to the exterior sheeting or into the, the wall studs. As we can see here, there is no sealant where this wire goes through the wall. And right now there is a, quite a bit of air flow coming through this hole in the wall that has not been sealed. So one of the things I do is verify that all these holes are sealed and then have the installation contractor or the builder come back and seal that hole. This is our front door for this house. Um, thick walls, so now we have a great big 12-inch door jam. Instead of a conventional locking mechanism that just latches in the middle, we've used a triple point lock, which latches at the top, the middle, and also the bottom. So on these type of locks, you hold the door closed, engage the locking mechanism. It's a lot better seal than on a regular door lock. Also, it's real critical to make sure that you're weather stripping. And also down here at the bottom, we have an adjustable door sill. You can adjust that and make sure that we have a good seal at the bottom there. When we did the blower door test, we noticed that this thermal pane unit in the door was actually leaking air. So we had to pull it out and reseal it. And then inside this entryway, we have an airlock, so there's another door, and it just happens to be a glass door. But one way that you can come into the house in the winter without having a blast of cold air coming into the living room.